What's up guys, I'm back for another install video and today's video is going to be about how to upgrade the boomerang in your Spec D, FRS, BRZ or 86 headlights. Now what we're going to be upgrading them with is this light bar. This is a 60 centimeter light bar. You can essentially get any 60 centimeter light bar that's of a similar size to this that fits your color preference or brightness preference. Now before this video starts, I want to give a quick shout out to my sponsors. The first one is Apex Race Parts. They make a really nice set of wheels for the FRS and BRZ platform that are track capable, inexpensive and light. Weight. Now the second one is Veris Engineering. They make a lot of FRS BRZ parts that you can look into to make your car track capable and faster and more reliable. Now the tools that you're going to need to perform this install are the following. You're going to need a flathead screwdriver that's both small but also sturdy. You're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver. You're going to need some wire cutters and then you're going to need a heat gun. So let's get to the install. Now the first step to this install is going to be to remove the six screws holding the casing of the headlight together. There's one, two, three, four, five, and then six down here. Now the next step is probably the hardest step of this entire install, and that's to use our heat gun and our flathead screwdriver to start separating the plastic clear casing from the flat black back part of the headlights. Now the way that we do this is we're going to put the heat gun on whatever section for about five to ten seconds, and then we're going to start prying in between that section with the flathead screwdriver, slowly pulling it apart, and also making sure to separate the plastic tabs that also hold them together. So now as you can see I've separated the lens from the housing. The lens part also comes with the boomerang and all of the uh, internal pieces so we'll get to that next but the first next step is to undo this clip and the way that you do that is by pushing down on the top part right here and separating the two. So now we can put this part aside. We're not going to be using this part for most of the install. So we're going to take our Phillips head screwdriver and we're going to remove the four screws. One, two, three, four that hold the main part into the lens. And now we can separate this part and put this lens away. Now the next step is going to be to remove this clear boomerang. And the way that we do that is by removing three Phillips heads that hold it in on the other side. So if you look right here, there's one Phillips head right here, one Phillips head right here, and one Phillips head right here. Now before we remove this light, we're going to have to unclip it from the wire harness. So we'll take our wire cutters and we'll clip both the black and the red wires leading to the boomerang. And now that those are clipped, we can remove the light bar. Now the way that we remove this part is if you look on the back, there are five small tabs, one, two, three, four, and five. And you're gonna use your flathead screwdriver to go in and push those in. And now once all the tabs are removed, we can go ahead and start to pull this part out. So this can now be thrown away. Now what we have remaining is the flat black housing and we're going to go ahead and install the light bar that we bought. After you've installed this light bar into the housing, I would highly recommend bringing it to a car battery to test to make sure that the light still works. So after you've confirmed that it works, you can now go ahead and continue the install. So now that we have the boomerang properly installed and tested, we can go ahead and start putting the headlight back together. Now the first step to do this is to take the wires coming out of the back of your boomerang and put them through the other side of the headlights so that you can access them when the headlight is put back together. Now my headlight has a two-piece system, so I've disconnected it from the connector right here and run the other side of the wire through here and we'll connect this connector back to the boomerang when I'm putting it all back together. But if you just have a set of wires, then just put the boomerang close and run the wires through this stopper right here. And now we can put it all back together. So now we're gonna grab our clear housing, place it over the boomerang, and flip it all around so that we can start screwing the screws back in the holes. So now that all of my wires are connected, we can go ahead and put everything back together. So now you can do a look over to make sure that none of the wires are sticking out. And if they aren't, you can go ahead and start replacing the screws that hold the black part of the housing to the clear part of the housing. So by putting these screws in, you can start to see that the housing closes together. And that's going to be the indicator that you have it all sealed properly. 
Now that we've installed the screws back in, the housing is back together and the install is practically done. If you have any issues getting the housing and the clear part back together, you could use the heat gun again to heat up the glue that holds it together. But otherwise, Test your headlights once again, install them, and you're done with the install. But that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it. You can also follow me on Instagram right here. And if there are any videos that you guys wanna see, make sure you leave them in the comments below, and I'll try to make them happen. Thank you guys so much, and have a good one. So